conflicted asks about career options. I'm about to graduate from computer science, and applying for big companies is a thing. Open blockchains to me look exciting and promising, yet unstable as a career path. What would you say to a new graduate who sees his friends working for bigger and better paying companies, and feels peer pressure to play the game, but sees this space as an important thing, and yet is not sure he has enough experience to make a difference? I don't think this is really a question about blockchains. I think this is more a question about following the very traditional uh, career path and building a career with, as Conflicted said, bigger and better paying uh, companies, versus uh, building a career that has a degree of independence, uh, entrepreneurial um, independence, and maybe a lot more risk built into it. I think that as time goes by, these two paths um, are not what they initially seemed. So it is very difficult, especially in some countries, to be an entrepreneur, to be a freelancer, to work independently of the big career path. In the U.S., for example, the the tax system is stacked against you from the get go. Um, you pay far more in taxes as a self-employed person than if you worked as a payroll employee for a big corporation. Healthcare is almost impossible as a self self-employed person. So you have to handle that uh, too, and um, of course you take on all of the risk. In return, what you get is freedom, uh, and to me that's priceless. But not everyone sees it that way. A lot of people will much rather have uh, job security uh, instead of freedom. And to those people, I would say um, those who give up uh, freedom in order to gain a sense of security deserve neither and will have neither, uh, which is paraphrasing Benjamin Franklin. Here is the thing. The bigger and better paying companies that give you this degree of security, it is an illusion. Um, it is an illusion because none of them give a shit about you. Um, there is no career path. There are no guarantees. All jobs are at-will jobs, where you can get fired, um, at any time. Uh, there is no such thing as a career for life. It is all about de developing skills that are marketable and competitive. And as soon as you stop doing that, uh, none of these bigger and better paying companies will be loyal to you. Um, if anything, working for bigger and better paying companies limits the amount of skills that you can develop. You develop skills in playing politics, jockeying for position, climbing the ladder, backstabbing your colleagues, dealing with the sociopath in the cubicle next to you, or your boss, who is also a sociopath, um, trying to handle all of these internal politics, uh, signing up for projects because they have good buzzwords rather than possibility of succeeding, um, and trying to figure out um, not what is a useful thing to do, but what will generate the, the greatest opportunity for promotion and pay raise within a fixed hierarchy. Um, those are not really useful skills. They are not very creative skills. And in the end, at least uh, for many people I know, um, you have uh, a semblance of job security, and in return you are miserable, because your life has no purpose within these bigger and better paying companies. So, as an entrepreneur who is fiercely independent, um, I am going to give you the worst advice uh, that I uh, possibly can, and that is uh, find a way to do your own thing, create your own job, develop entrepreneurial skills, develop skills that are um, usable in multiple industries, in multiple geographies, in multiple languages, in multiple countries, um, and be ready to be flexible. And one of the reasons you should do that now is because later in life you will not have the flexibility you have now. The older you get, the more responsibilities, the more dependence you have, the less flexibility you have in life. Now is the time to take risks. Now is the time to do something exciting, to try a different track than every one of your peers, 
and um, to risk. And part of that means risking that it will fail. Uh, and that's okay because you can fail gracefully when you're in your mid twenties with no dependents. Uh, it's a lot harder to fail gracefully when you're in your mid forties. You have a family of four, a mortgage, um, and a private school bill to pay at the end of each month. At that point, you can't fail gracefully. Um, so, you know, the bigger, better paying companies. The selling out to a corporate career of boredom and playing politics will still be there. Uh, try something different.